Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me very great pleasure to welcome you all to this ancient city of Chennai and particularly to this historic hall. You will find history staring at you from the front and also from the back. We have retained these pictures on the walls so that we may sometimes feel the change that has taken place. Sometimes it is necessary to remember the past also. That is why we have retained these pictures in this hall. Many of you are perhaps visiting Chennai for the first time and some of you would have come here on many occasions. A few among us you being to the Madras stage and it is coming back to their own home for them. We have tried our best to make your stay here as comfortable as possible and if there are any lapses we may be pardoned. We are particularly grateful to the chairman for having agreed to have the boarding meeting here. For some time past, the meetings have been held only at Delhi. I suppose from now on the various states will get their chance and the board meetings will be held in all the states. There are certain advantages in having these meetings outside Delhi. It gives one an intimate picture of things happening in the Delhi. In the various states, the officers and others concerned are greatly benefited by the visit of eminent educationists from outside the state. And I'm sure the visitors also would in the same way be benefited by having a look at things in the particular state. It is through this process of mutual consultation that it would be possible for us to make progress. The occasion we are meeting now is of some significance, particularly in a growing and developing country. We are just now going through the process of the completion of the second five-year plan. There are many only two years no more and we have begun to think of the third five-year plan. Therefore, it is appropriate that we should take into account the experience we have gained and the lessons we have learned in formulating the working of the second five-year plan. I'm sure those experiences 
and lessons would guide us properly for the purpose of formulating the third five year plan and more than that in successfully implementing them we are all aware when the second five year plan was being formulated persons particularly to a great extent as regards the allocation of resources for the educational development but i do not think we can blame the planning commission for this i would say that we ourselves are to be blamed because we did not formulate the plan with reference to physical targets and what it would mean in terms of finance we did not place before the planning commission perhaps the proper picture unless this time we take steps sufficiently early we may miss the bus this time also therefore i attach considerable significance and importance to this meeting particularly at this juncture because it is now we have to take up this problem of formulating the third five year plan it is not as if during the formulation of the second five year plan we did not have a sufficiently clear picture of the developments that were necessary to take place in our country we had the benefit of very valuable reports one in respect of university education and another in respect of secondary education even though the pictures were given quite clearly and definitely still i'm afraid it remains merely an academic pictures which did not mean anything to the planners particularly in the finance ministers we have to give these academic targets and objectives a financial picture then alone we would be able to carry the planning commission and the planners with us the report of the second education commission gave as a picture of how the secondary education should be reorganized but that is no fault of others theirs we should have taken steps to see what it means in terms of money as a matter of fact we made the attempt while i welcome you here heartily and sincerely i hope and trust that this meeting would lead not only to a successful end but we will also have a successful session here but the success would depend upon what you began doing on what we desired here i have no doubt that within the next 2 years before the third five year plan we did not have even 2 years we will be taking steps to establish the leadership of this board in the field of education if we take that lead i have no doubt that we will be able to convince all those who are engaged in the task of framing the plan that 
a little more of money would be necessary for the purpose of achieving the physical targets in the educational sector